Mortal Kombat. Now, I know you're a big fan. Um, oh. So Mortal Kombat, uh, the video game series, first came to the cinema screens in the 90s. There was Mortal Kombat, the Paul W.S. Anderson movie, um, you know, with uh, Christopher Lambert. And then there was the sequel, Annihilation. The first one, actually, I thought was OK. I mean, particularly considering that first wave of terrible uh, video game movies includes Super Mario Bros, Street Fighter, you know, I mean, just just rubbish. The second one, Annihilation, pretty much killed the big screen franchise. Uh, directed, in interestingly enough, by John R. Leonetti, who went on to make Wolves at the Door, which is one of the most hor horrible, I mean, genuinely horrible, stupid films I've ever seen. The film that thought that the Manson murders, what they really needed was a bit of sexing up on screen. So anyway, that sort of pretty much flattened the franchise. Then there was this kind of weird period of development. Hell, it was a short in, I think it was 2010, called Mortal Kombat Rebirth, which you can find on Vimeo. It's kind of interesting, got the studios back interested in it again, but then the feature version, you know, wasn't up, wasn't on. Now, finally, new Mortal Kombat movie, directed by Simon McCoy, produced by, co-produced by James Wan, you know, Saw Insidious franchises, co-written by Greg Russo, who's a big fan of the games, and said, what I'm trying to do is to give the fans the game, the, the movie that is uh, faithful to the, to the video game series. So, you know, uh, all kind of, very the, the signs look good going in that said you do have to make sure that the people who aren't video game uh, fans can understand it as well so new character cole young cage fighter's got mysterious birthmark gets drawn into this world which has to be explained to him jessica mcnamee's sonya blade who spends a lot of time doing exactly that and then josh lawson is kano who is this kind of you know foul-mouthed australian character who accompanies Cole and Sonya to this otherworldly tournament, which conveniently all gets explained all the time, so no one gets left behind, is a clip. No Harry Potter. Kiri. Who's that? No. Cute. Real cute. <laughs> Let's see you try down again. Is that the only move you know, mate? Do it. Yeah, yeah, put a shirt on, Magic Mike. Now, I hope you all noticed that that was Big Bird song. Yes, yes, we I talked was about that. about that. We talked about that last Big week, Bird song. Come in, which is why that clip sounded as odd as it did, because it was basically the sound of, you know, Australian swearing bleeped out by Big Bird with fighting in between. So here's the thing. So the, the you know, the Mortal Kombat franchise kind of gives you the scope there's all this stuff you know, laser eyes, freezing stairs, robot arms, robotic arms, you know, killer lizards, fireballs frisbee hats all that kind of stuff the the thing that's interesting about this is i kind of actually thought it was all right i mean i to be honest with you i thought the first mortal kombat was okay and i think this is all right the thing that it's got going for it is that it is impressively bloody and it's a it, it's a 15 i checked this with the bbfc um it hasn't been cut for a 15 it is it's what you'd think of as a top end 15 largely because the violence takes place in a kind of fantastical surrounding and at no point i think was there ever any i mean it's interesting because it, it the bbfc report basically says you know loads of violence but mild threat you never feel that any of the violence is threatening it all just feels like a bunch of fantasy stuff but i also thought you know kids today they don't know they're born i mean if you could get away with this stuff in a 15 certificate, this is kind of, you know, if we'd had this when we were teenagers, we wouldn't have ended up having the video nasty scare. Um, obviously there'll be arguments about, you know, which characters are in, which characters are out, but it looks very possible that this will now continue. There'll be another installment in which case, you know, other characters will be brought in. To be honest, it is, you know, it's clunkily written. The dialogue is pretty awful. Um, most of the performances are fantastically wooden. And Lawson is all too often the thing that keeps you engaged. And then when Lawson isn't there, you think, OK, this is literally people just coming on and reciting lines. And of course, if you're a martial arts fan, because of the fact that so much is done with, you know, CG and special effects, you're not even getting the kind of the physicality that you would get from, a, you know, from a really good martial arts movie. But it could have been much much worse i think and i had i went in with particularly low expectations and i kind of enjoyed it although i will admit and call me shallow that the thing i enjoyed most about it was the gratuitous gore which i did enjoy and i did think 15 certificate you know 
audiences are so lucky nowadays, but it's absolutely true. The BBFC are right. It is not an 18 certificate movie. There's no sadism in it. It's just a lot of custard pies. <laughs>